I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. The purpose of this exercise is to practice decision making during the Charleston. That's why I call it Charleston modeling. If you have a set of tiles at home, I hope you give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three iterations. We'll alternate between the dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14. And I'm going to set up a mock Charleston each time with no jokers. We have a couple of jokers, pair of flowers, north and south, singles, three, four in cracks with a pair of fours, four, nine in bams, four, five, eight in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on the fours. We have a pair and the other two fours in different suits. So I would probably focus on fours. We could maybe keep consecutive tiles to see what comes in. We'll pass those three. We got a dragon. We could maybe play like numbers with dragons and fours. We do have a three. Pair of Souths. We don't have any other wins. We pass the North here. I would focus on these fours because of the four crack pair. So I would at this point probably choose like numbers. And that way I could use all these fours building around the four crack. And then I would break up this south, so I'd probably pass these three. Four. So I would keep that. We have a pung of fours. We do have some potential here for a mixed suit consecutive hand. We have two tiles to pass. Let's let this green dragon go because there is a hand that uses three, four, five, but you know what? We only need a pair in the middle. I don't think I would do that. I would keep the dragon and maybe focus on like numbers with fours with maybe dragons. So let's pass these three. We got a four and we have tiles to pass focusing on like numbers. No keepers there. Now this is gonna be a little bit risky, four, five, seven there, but we do have some potential for like numbers with fours here. I think I would probably break this up and focus on fours. Since we don't have a red dragon, that's a gap. So I downplay that option. I'd focus on one of the two like number hands either the first one with a pair of flowers or the third one with five flowers. No keepers here. We did get a five crack, but there's nothing we can do with flowers four five in different suits with both of these fours. So I would probably let that go and pass one of each suit. Whoa, look at that. Threes. Try not to pass pairs. Three, three, four, five, six. Three, four, four. 
we could maybe do three, four, five, Kong, pair, Kong. I think what I would probably do though, because we have Pung, pair, No other forest went around in the Charleston. Well, we, we gathered the four that was in there. Let's see. Because of the four here, I probably would let this go and focus on fours and pass these. Optional cross. No keepers. Discards there. But... We have a really good potential here for like numbers with fours and a pair of flowers. Four discards. No gaps. I'd say that was a good choice. There was some potential for consecutive run, but I think this was a good result. Joker, flower, two, three, six, seven, and bams, singles, seven dot, nine dot, pung of nine dots, one, seven, eight in cracks, singles. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play six through nine or three, six, nine. Let's see if we have enough tiles to pass. We have two, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, nine, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. I would let that go, but look at that pass. That would be a terrible pass. I would not pass flower. We could play six, seven, eight, nine, gap hand. We could play maybe seven, eight. Oh, we have a seven here. Seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. We only need a pair. I would want to build around that. Seven, seven dot. We could maybe play five, seven, nine. Five, seven, nine with sevens in the middle. Even though we have a gap, no five dot. So I think I would let the six go. Keep it, maybe switch to three, six, nine if we can get the six back or build up elsewhere. Let's focus on seven through nine or five, seven, nine. We'll pass those. We have a five. Oh, five, seven, seven, nine. That's got no gaps. I think I would focus on five. Oh, we have a three here we could let go, but three, four, that would be pretty risky. I think I would focus on five, seven, nine, and let the eight go. Okay, now we have a pair of fours in here. Fours and a six. Five, seven, nine. Five, seven, nine. We're on, we're on right across the left. We could pass blind. Let's do that. We're going to pass one blind. We got a five. Now, five, seven, nine. Five, seven, seven, nine. Five, seven, seven, nine. The five, seven, nine with sevens in the middle, we would need five dots, not five cracks. So I would, I would pass these three and keep going. It's going to be risky though, because we only have two tiles and one's a flower. 
Now we have flowers and a dragon. All right, so let's see. Five, seven, seven, nine, no gaps. We could maybe switch to like numbers with nines or maybe a quint right there, quint. Pass those and these. Or maybe play five, seven, nine, dragon or seven, eight, nine, dragon. I'd like to use these flowers though, like numbers with nines. Let's break this all up. So we can pass safely. It's a little painful because we have no gaps. No gaps with five, seven, seven, nine. But that would require passing three, four, dragon. Let's see. Pong, pong, kong, kong would be the shape of the final hand. I would like to use those flowers, though. This is a challenge. I'm thinking to use the flowers, I would let these go. That was a real challenge. Let's see if it was worth it. We got a nine. Like numbers with nines, maybe. And we have tiles we can pass. Here's one of each suit. Here's a three. Maybe we could play three, six, nine. Three, six, nine. Two, four, five to pass. I think I would probably let the three go and do one of each suit. Oh, look what we got, a white dragon. I think I would focus on either like numbers with nines and dragons or a quint. Let's pass these three. Oh, there's a six. Six, seven, nine. We could play single pair Pong Kong right there. Use that as joker bait, maybe. This is the sixth hand down under consecutive run. I think I would keep those. But maybe focus on like numbers with nines if we can get a red dragon. Discard those. That was a, a challenging Charleston. We have here a flower, one six in cracks with a pair of sixes, one, three, five, seven, nine, pair of sevens. Oh, I usually put these over here, west and south. And then we have a four or five in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I think I would keep the sixes, but focus on odds. No gaps, one, three, five, seven, nine, and it uses a multiple. But we could also maybe play five, six, seven, mixed suits, no gaps there. And we have tiles we can pass. So let's pass these three. No keepers. Now we did get eights, which is consecutive. 
789 or 789. five six seven flower let's either way let's pass these now this is a little risky passing two wins with news on the card but we're in between hands and we got to set ourselves up for success okay now we have two more multiples or actually we built oh no that is a fresh multiple so look what developed here one three five seven nine i would definitely go that route because that uses three multiples now. So I would keep the flower and break up the six. One of each suit right there. We got a keeper, five, one, three, five, seven, nine. Pass these three. Maybe break this up a little with a wind. We got a keeper, seven. And we have tiles we can pass. We got a keeper, and we're on last right. Let's pass. Let's see, Pung. You know what I was just thinking? We're so close to this hand, I would probably risk passing a flower. We could Pung the five. All we need is a nine ban, and this hand could be pure. Let's pass the flower. No keepers, but we have tiles for optional cross. Oh, look at that. We got joker bait. Usually joker bait works when you discard one at the middle of the third wall. Since we have so few discards, these are going to go out early, I'd say. We're going to pung here, discard here, hopefully draw a nine bam. We've got our pung here either a nine bam or a flower and we'll discard that. So most likely we will probably wouldn't get anything there, but this was a fantastic result. One, three, five, seven, nine, maybe even pure. After you get your dealt hand, focus on the strength of the hand, which typically will be multiples. If you don't have multiples, look for the predominant pattern and play a category that uses most of your tiles. Build your hand through the Charleston. If you can get to the end of the Charleston with less than four discards, I'd say you're set up for success. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks beekeepers.